Good morning everybody, welcome back. Monday morning and we're drilling again. The snow didn't arrive, so we're just carrying on more spring wheat. This is a regenerative field and uh, this was where we rolled in the spring to control the volunteers and we it's been glyphosated and we're pushing on with some spring wheat so here we have it Not so deep on that one. We'll go down here. Here, we are getting, I suppose, an inch. There it is. But it's not massively deep. Morning, everybody. Wednesday morning, and the snow has arrived. It's worth saying that. Uh, we picked off some smaller fields on Monday, we did about 15 hectares of drilling, but we were quite concerned that we wanted fields to be completely finished. So we picked off two smaller fields and uh, left the larger chunk in case it snowed. It snowed, so we're taking a rain check for uh, until this situation's uh, improved. Morning everybody, it's now Sunday morning and uh, this week as you saw from the previous video we've had quite a bit of snow and in fact my agronomist did a crop walk yesterday and these fields the ones we planted were covered in snow and you couldn't see the ground so really what a difference 24 hours makes so one point of concern that I did have was because we were drilling relatively early in the spring that there could have been quite a lot of bird pressure on these fields so actually the snows really helped us out it's just covered the ground helped the birds forget where it is maybe as it's melted as well it's helped uh, just close the slot a little bit further so fingers crossed I'm really considering this is this our, this is our lightest land a good 40 millimeters of rain uh, really helps it get off to a good start so it's uh, hopefully we're past the fool's spring element of seasonal change and we're on an upward trajectory my heart goes out to the growers of winter rape and beans who seem to be really struggling with a bit of frost kill uh, cabbage stem flea beetle lots of particular challenges in break crops this year and we've been actively discussing uh, going back into all seed rape. Following on from the farm walk with David White last year and that establishing all seed rape within a multi-species crop and then using your curb to take out the other species. We were having a debate this week about whether it would be possible to start off the all seed rape in that manner and the challenge came from the agronomist well what happens if that strategy fails if you get a difficult spring like we've had this year what would the next crop be and we were under the impression that we'd probably go for spring beans as an alternative and then we said well in that situation could we combine a winter bean and winter all seed rape together and then f when we get to the spring discover which of the crops has succeeded and spray out the alternative so that's what something we're considering as a break crop within this conventional system here it as you can see we've got a lot of woodland there's a lot of pigeon pressure we think we're reason we haven't got many neighbors growing all seed drapes so i think we're relatively safe in the cabbage stem flea beetle element it would just be the pigeons in the win late winter early spring so that's something we're talking about always struggling with additional crops and the rotation but uh, brings you up to speed about what we're thinking about at the moment so thank you very much everybody uh, please subscribe click on the bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live see you next time bye <laughs>